Hi everybody, I'm Paul Tran. Welcome to Learning Unplugged, the place to come for acoustic music and acoustic learning. What we do on Learning Unplugged is we take a look at some simple, effective ways of helping us think and do things differently. So let's put the mandolin away for a moment. Now, how many of you just get on with it? You're struggling, you're working really hard, you're digging and you get on with it. How good would it be if you could label all that get on with itness and be able to work through every situation with your own personal resilience? What we're going to look at today are seven steps with which we can get some resilience and use it really well to get through whatever situation we're in. Step one is to get yourself a sense of control. And that means working out what we can and what we can't control and working out the limitations on our control so that we know exactly what we can affect and how we can affect it. Step two is to see change as an opportunity. It's an opportunity to learn, to grow, to experience, maybe even to succeed. It's always an opportunity, so treat it as such. The third step to resilience is to make sure you've got a strong social network. Not just your friends or your close colleagues, the people who you don't know that well yet who could really help you in a time of need. The quicker you can get their help, the quicker you'll be able to sort out whatever problems you have. Step four is optimism. Base your optimism on evidence, the evidence of your ability, the evidence of the people around you, the evidence of your mindset that helps you get through things. Think about how you've got over things in the past and how you've used your resilience to good effect. That's what you base your optimism on. So your first thought is, how am I gonna do it rather than whether I'm gonna do it? The next step, is patience. Resilience is something that you have to work on. It doesn't always happen straight away. You just gotta keep moving and moving until it's there. That requires a bit of patience. It's well worth waiting in the long run. The sixth step is a little bit of adaptability. So much is changing these days. It's really important to be able to handle a little bit of ambiguity and to know that whatever happens, we'll be able to deal with it. Think about past times when your adaptability has really helped you and then tap into that when you need to. And the seventh step is humour. A little bit of appropriate, well-placed humour is great for us reduces our cortisol, it raises the endorphins within us. When we have a laugh with people, we release a nice bit of oxytocin that just gets us closer together. And it's a great way of enhancing your resilience as much as possible. So there you have it, seven steps to resilience. What I'd love you to do is to pick one or two of them to pay real close attention to in the next few weeks and see how you get on with them. And once you've really got into those two, pick two more. Pay attention to those. Remember, we are what we pay attention to. Pay attention to these seven steps. And it's a great way of making sure you can tap into your resilience as quickly as possible. Let me know how you get on with that in the comments below. And if you want to know more about my work or learn the unplugged, you can take a look at the website, which is ptps.co.uk or you can take a look at the YouTube channel, which is Paul Tran Trainer. Have fun with those seven steps to resilience, and I'll see you soon on the next Learning Unplugged.